together. That did the video and myself. There was no other people involved. You hear that? So you hear those other people, yeah, ten people, people whoever need to He the one who said he, on his tight, he wanted to go get everybody to So we want to schedule for the So we want to schedule for the So we want to schedule for the no, we can do pal talk, uh -huh. and I will invite Josiah Israel and okay. some other Morays so in like the room. Done to me Let me know what's Josiah the best time for you. Now, this was on a Tuesday. We didn't respond until the following day, Wednesday. But still, on the same day, Tuesday, he even suggested a time. Go ahead. We can do it right after the Sabbath. That's a real good time to invite all those who uphold the name of... Yeshua to defend the land. Now this is on the comments. Pal talk, uh -huh. and I will invite Josiah Israel and some okay. other Morays so in like the room. We can do it right after the Sabbath. That's a real judge. good time to invite all those who uphold the name of Yeshua to defend the name. That's just not real. To expose, that's all that matters to me. I don't care if, if there's 10,000 people here or one person here. I'm here to speak in defense of how this lesson was done and to do to, to do a, a response. That clip that was taken out wasn't even the whole video. It was what? that was done in response to a Christian guy who's still holding on to the name of Zeus. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up the, the video clip. Ask him, can we the say something? I did the whole clip. So the key is, afterwards. if you're going to tear up or try to challenge a teaching that I did, then why not put up the whole video? It's like when these brothers, even when these brothers wanted to rebut against what I taught, or brothers that were attacking, that were non, non covered keeping Hebrew Israelites, was attacking, you know what I did? I took the time to put up all of their videos and to respond as they commented. So, you can this do that one too. wasn't even a lesson that I was doing. It was just basically a video response that I did to a brother um, using my webcam from my computer. So it's not even clear. The, the quality is not there. Normally I don't do nothing like that, but because I was trying to help the brother. Okay, who was you're trying to help him. In, you know, in the Christian church. Zadok, I heard what um, what your Isha said, and um, also I heard your points. And like I said, the best we can do is in whatever you know she stated what her opinion was on how we should have came, just as being teachers. Hey, I can respect her opinion and yours also. But the thing that I would like to say is is that one, uh, we we definitely apologized because that just we didn't perceive that you would be offended in that way. So we apologize. You know, the script, you know, uh, Christ says that if a man have art and he lets you know what his art is, then if you repent, you've won your brother. So in the point that you made, we actually apologized because we didn't have any uh, perception that that's how you would take it. So it's clear that you felt disrespected by it, whether, whether we intended it or not, 
that's not important at this moment. What's important is, is that how you took it and apparently how your Isha took it. So for that, we definitely apologize. But you did in your response say it would be good to get up after the Shabbat when other mores and others who had your same stance we have we have the email so we could actually just copy it and paste it just to show that that's what was typed I already did. oh he already he actually um posted it back earlier if you all can read because he said you know for this you know in a sense it really didn't matter you know who was there and i understand that um but what we did was uh no you didn't actually post that one so basically what, he, what, what the teacher said was, it was back on Tuesday, uh, teacher Kazakabad said that if, you know, if, if the, after the Sabbath would be good, that it would, that, he said that would be a good time because it would be other mores, I guess other teachers who he may dialogue with and so on and so forth, who defend the name of the Mashiach would be there also. So now to say it don't matter who's there, I mean, that may be your stance one way or the other. That's okay. I did post it, see? Yeah. He said, Marcus Man, no, we can do pal talk, and I will invite Josiah Israel and some other mores in the room. Oh, okay. Yeah, so here, oh, actually, he did post it back. If y'all actually uh, go back up, Brother Nashan, he, he copy and pasted the response from the Elder Kazakabad, and it does say, um, no, we can do pal talk, and I will invite Josiah Israel and some other mores in the room. Let me know what's the best time for you. So it was clear to us that if we ever did gather, that there would be other people in the room, not just, um, not just, just between us two. Yeah, not just between us and necessarily him. And basically, we understand your point. That's something for your sake that we wouldn't do again. Uh, he said we could do it after this coming Shabbat. We don't even have to wait that long. We could do it earlier in the week, but if, if, if the Shabbat is what's good for you all, then that's cool too. So, Elder Kazakabad, is that... I asked him, no, we want to try for the 30th. You said who? The 30th. What, is that on Friday? No, that's probably like a Wednesday, Wednesday. or a Thursday. Oh. 30th Wednesday. Oh, what the, yeah, hold on for one second. We just want to make sure, because we're looking on our calendar date, and we have um, the 30th. Yeah, the 30th is Wednesday. The 30th is Wednesday. I see here... Um, one, would Thursday, would Wednesday, is that not agreeable for you all? Go ahead, y'all, move the fingers. Most high willing on the 30th. Most high willing, we'd we be able to come to the table and we'd be able to let a couple other more raise and so forth know also who are interested because they, other people have seen the responses um, and things on YouTube as well. So they wanted to see if we all would deal with this thing in decency and order. And no matter, I will say that just in the way it has been done, it has at least been decent so far. No one has called anyone out a name. Everyone has stated their stance. So that's all we can really uh, do. But Wednesday, this Wednesday coming, the 30th, um, sometime uh, Wednesday evening. About 6.30. About 6.30 or 7 o'clock. Would that be too much? No, First Circle, it's not that. It's not that deep. Um, it's just that we just want, we just didn't expect it. We actually had a meeting planned. We had some, we had a meeting planned for this evening. We actually wouldn't be on here right now if a sister who hadn't talked with the teacher earlier and came over into our Skype class, she said, hey, are you guys going to be on a debate tonight at seven? And we was like, what debate? And that's when she started telling us. And that's the only way we even got here. So it just wasn't planned. That's all. So we waiting. You know, I mean, I know that the, the elder has stated that, I mean, his wife had stated that, you know, that in the military, you know, it's a certain Same way, thing. certain things done this and that. And the, the, to be honest, to be honestly truthful and no disrespect intended, um, we actually aren't, um, we don't really go by anyone's set notion of what respect is because respect, it, it crossed different lines. That's why the Apostle Paul said, he was all things to all men. For some people we deal with, they don't need that. And it doesn't mean that they don't have order about themselves. Neither does it as she kind of insinuated. doesn't mean we have no structure or protocol about ourselves. If that is, if that is the stance that 
you would prefer from us 